All right. And we are back with part eight of our Evil Within streaming series. I assume we are pretty... Hi, kitty cat. I assume we're pretty damn close to the end of, um, of this particular DLC. And then we'll go to try out the next one after that. Oh, we're actually finally at Beacon. With, uh... Are these in zombie dudes? Yeah. <laughs> okay, see, that makes sense. He's too far gone. I've got to stop him. Yeah, this makes sense, um... I know, because at the end of the original game, it's, um... That's the real world. This is not the real world. As Digimon would say, this is the digital world of sorts. Uh, I don't think there's any act. Oh, there's a little hidey hole, though. There we go. Let's, uh, eat. That leads nowhere. Okay, that was a waste of time. Okay. Let's see if I can make some progress over here. Oh, there's a bottle right there. I think I already have one. I got a gun, but no bullets, so that's not... Oh, there's a, um... Axe. Get that. Um... I think I got it right here. Oh, no, shit, there's another. Is there another to the right? Ah, uh, he's gonna... He's totally gonna come around right here, I think. Shit. I'm totally gonna fuck this up. Oh! Yep, I fucked it up. The night before you eat this, go! Go, hot! Oh, I almost had it. Not quite. Come on, you can. Oh no. Oh shit. Uh... <laughs> that actually worked! Apparently not good enough, though. Oh. Surprisingly less graphic than I thought it was gonna be. They, uh, they don't hold back with Sebastian. Just totally get to see that dude's head get caved in. Okay, so let's do that again from the right-hand side, because we know there's an axe over there. There we go. Have a bottle. I should probably use that as a distraction instead of just waiting for them to do the thing naturally. Here, let's do that. Eat! And then, stabby stab. I guess it's not really a stab, it's a freaking swing. Unfortunately, they don't care that they're Patriots are kind of being offed one by one. Or that I'm just peeking my head around like a jackass. Or flashing them like that. They just don't care. Uh, I think that's all we... Oh, that dude's hella dead. <laughs> um, here we go. As long as this doesn't make any noise, I think we're good. Oh. Answer our questions. What are you afraid of? What no. could haunt you so? Shut up and what get out of the way. I don't know why that turned it off on all the other monitors, but I'll take it. Okay, what are we... Uh, that's not working. Oh, the layout just changed on us. Okay. Leslie, no! Let's 
Let's see, there's a thing right here. Hello, the dead guy. Are dying when connected to the machine? What are you implying, Jimenez? After what you did to him, now all of this is just a conjecture. But it's as if Ruben's consciousness remains trapped inside Stem, and he's attacking anyone attempting to enter. This is inexcusable. We need to get around this. We can't have come all this way for nothing. Ruvik. He was in STEM all along. Well, he's not gonna get me. I'm kind of surprised a lot more this just wasn't directly in the main uh, campaign. I'm actually curious how, how long after the initial release these DLCs came out. I, it, can't, it couldn't have been like more than a year. I wonder how different that experience would have been if everything was a bit more explicit. Leslie was not always like this. He became catatonic after a traumatic experience as a child. His family was murdered in front of him. The data would suggest that brainwave synchronization with Ruben correlates to specific trauma. In this case, Ruben's own loss of family. This will not do. We need something else at the core. Something more acceptable to a whole range of people. Man, this is super heavy going to Evil Within 2 stuff. It's kind of crazy how much they were building that, uh, that existing framework for a sequel. Yeah, I guess that answers my question from earlier. Like, what was so special about Leslie? It's, uh, the loss of family. Although Ruben's the one that killed his mom and dad. Uh, it's only his sister that died in the accident. I'm not sure if entire family meets that same criteria. Good speculation, I suppose. Nice bathtub. What the heck is that? Hmm. That looks like a big old coffee. <laughs> Someone rational inside STEM. Potentially that person could neutralize Ruben. I mean, Ruvik. With my knowledge of the system, I may be of some. Absolutely not. We can't afford you complicating this any further. We will prepare one of our own. Sending someone inexperienced, we we can't even be sure. I'm that surprised they can come he back. volunteered himself to go and knowing how someone fucking risky it was. Expendable. Expendable. So that's how you see me. And I trusted you. Damn, what a dickhead. <laughs> what a fucking douche. That's not exactly something you want to tell someone. Which I guess he didn't, so. Oh. Those are dead bodies. Where do I... I guess I would explain why that stuff's there. So whatever smoke or whatever he's emitting. Oh. That's all gone. Oh, is this gonna mimic the first um where you first see the executioner or whatever? Please tell me I'm right. Yeah! Where am I? I was now? fucking right. Oh, that's that's some cool fucking little fan servicey type stuff. I mean, on one hand, you'd be like, "Oh, well, they're just reusing assets from the main game." It's lazy. It's like, no, dude. It, it in this context absolutely works. Oh, there's a safe, which I don't know the combination to, which means it's hidden somewhere around here. Don't necessarily need to find it out, I guess, but Sebastian was here? Yeah, he got his leg sliced up, but there's 
It's kind of inexplicably A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Um, after getting his leg cut up. Don't know why, but that's how it be. That is a lot of chainsaws just hanging out. This dude's got ample supply. Please don't let there be the executioner. <laughs> Please, no. Damn, we really can't run for shit. It's kind of embarrassing. Are these gonna turn on? Please, no. Oh, shit. Oh. The fake out. Okay, so this is a place Sebastian did not go, because he had to use a little trap door over there. So this is all... Okay. We've... Do whatever you want. You're not gonna stop me. We've been to this part before, I believe. The layout looks extremely familiar. The little grates to nowhere, yeah. I kind of love it when games like remix old areas just to fuck with you. I could be totally off base. This could, this could just be a new place by using familiar or I guess the exact same assets or whatever, but it feels extremely familiar. I was about to say, it sounds like it's clicking like he doesn't have ammo, but probably still does. But there is an ax. Oh, right here. Oh, I already have one. Why do I have one? I didn't. Don't remember grabbing one. I thought I'm comp. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, that was cool. That was fucking sweet. Oh, and there's ammo here too. Hell yeah. Four bullets, or I guess five. Or no, not bullets, they're shells. Totally different things. And I just love it when horror games uh, turn the tables with you suddenly having like firepower. Or I guess just offensive capabilities in general. Okay, we just gotta not miss any of these shots, because otherwise I sh should out of luck. Oh, still alive. Oh, they have ammo on them. Pretty cool that they have this uh, one-handed shotgun, though. This wasn't in the base game. At least as far as I know. Maybe it's like some kind of like unlockable. Does that lead anywhere? Uh, it looks like it. Oh, that lighting hella changes the flashlight. It's kind of crazy. Uh, it leads no- really? You gonna fucking trick me thinking that there's somewhere to go? That's kind of insulting. Alright, um... Nope, that is a... Bye, buddy. You're dead. More ammo. Oh, wait, shit, they're attracted to sounds. So they're gonna be tracking me down now. Those, uh, blind ones, at least. Yep. Let's see. At least it's kind of constantly giving me ammo. We're kind of at a 
at the game's mercy, though. If we just run out, we're just kind of shit out of luck. Alright, do we go... Oh, there we go. The left. Is that gonna... Do I just go through it? Nope, we gotta... Get the focus. Is it... Going to work, though? I am trying to let it go through. Oh, we have to manually equip it. Okay. I would like to have my shotgun out. Oop. The fuck? Oh. That's too many, I think. Just dip. There we go. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Nah, we outie. Pick that up. Dip. Entirely too many. Well, I guess they're each giving me a shell, so it's not too bad. Oh, that leads nowhere. All that build up for the... Oh, God! I am dead. <laughs> In case it wasn't evidently clear by all my fucking limbs and uh, head getting separated from my torso. Uh, I am indeed quite dead in that scenario. Yeah, from the beginning of the game and then the time that you revisit this area, I'm constantly wondering, what's behind that door? Um, I guess we found out. It's Jack and shit. Gotta be careful with our sprint meter, though. There you go. Oh! What? How did that connect? Come on. Uh, might as well just kill these dudes. Down. Because they're going to have ammo, right? Oh, they're not going to have ammo? That's a dickhead move. Shit, I can't... I need one for this thing over here. So... There we go. Let him come to us. Shit. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I am. Oh, I am so fucked. Oh, wait, nope. Yeah. Okay, so. We learned that we need extreme forward momentum, apparently. Alright. Yeet. Go, go! Oh shit. Okay. At least we have ammo there. And then... Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, should be good. Uh, three shots, one more right here. See ya, dude. 
Oh, no, he's coming. Oh, what the fuck? No, no, no. Oh, come on, really? You're gonna pop that off on me at the last second. That's. <laughs> oh, I see what they're doing this segment. It's it's not necessarily trial and error, but they're trying to get the most out of this gameplay segment because I'm assuming we're pretty damn near at the end. So it's like the last hoorah, the last push. But man, am I dying a lot here? I think they're just gonna continue spawning, so it's like, damn it! It's like I gotta just keep killing dudes, right? But they're not all dropping ammo. Ah, oh, god damn it! And that's the earliest time I've died, I guess. Let's see what happens if I just totally stay here, chill, and kill everything. Maybe there's like an actual finite number. One, two, three. That's the exact amount of uh, shells I have, I suppose. Shit. Oh no, they're gonna keep spawning apparently. So I think I just fucked myself. Shit. Yeah, I do kind of have to sprint through this part. So, instinct was right. I'm just super fucked. All right. Run for it, I guess. Hey, right, we gotta fuck this dude up. Dude, Gidman, you, you cannot afford. Damn it! Shit! I. Oh, I was in the middle of that and I. Okay. I've been having a great time <laughs> with this. DLC, um, it's ironic that this DLC is so inherently different from the base game, or, I'm sorry, the last, this DLC and the one before it are so inherently unique from the base game because of their focus on stealth, and then the time that it gets annoying is when it's not being stealth. Wait, uh, this is frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. And now I'm just kind of making dumb, stupid little mistakes at the beginning there, causing me to fuck up. Let's regenerate our health, I guess. You just gonna hang out there, buddy? I gotta stand still and let my health regenerate, so... Gotta chill here for a second, I guess. Okay, so I can't let my sprint run out as I get to that door, because I need to kill that dude, like, immediately, apparently. Alright, dude. Let's go. Did it despawn him? Oh, I guess it... It figured that it was being fucking annoying as shit, so it got rid of him. Thank you. Probably shouldn't have had him there in the first place, to be honest. There we go. That was annoying. As a matter of fact, 
I'm going to put that down in my notes right now because that stood out to me. Sometimes sticking out to me isn't necessarily a good thing. Bad part of the stealth DLC. When it's when it's self. I'll put an angry face in there too. Just for emphasis. Back to it. I do like the, the shotgun though. Definitely a risk reward, very powerful, but only one shot. Such a simple mission, but still you act out. Thankfully for us, there's always a backup plan. Not everything we give you is for your benefit. Oh whoops. infusion. What did you put in me? We needed to know if one of us could survive in the system. But we're not about to risk anyone of value. You were sent to carry us in with you. So here I am. What kind of fucking Resident Evil hokey boat? No. It's hokey moving. bullshit is this? He's making all of this. Um, where do I go? This is where I came from, right? So how do I... This plastic is too powerful. I can't push it aside. It's impossible. This door is locked, apparently. Down here. Everything seems walled off. What am I supposed to be looking for, I suppose? This is lighting up. Am I supposed to turn the power on? That's where I... Oh, never mind. There we go. I'm sorry that I want to keep my shotgun out and feel safe and secure. Flashlight's not exactly a weapon of mass destruction. Here we go. Save point. Please, roll up your sleeve. Whoa, now. That's a big syringe. Don't think you're putting that fucking thing in me. Miss Kidman, you agree to this. Don't forget that. Nothing we're doing is malicious. It's only proper protocol. You know what's chopper protocol? Telling the person getting the fucking shot where the hell she is and what's the fucking point. Ow! Damn it! That hurt. Hey guys, what the fuck? Is anyone there? You get so doing a lot of weird experimentations, injecting her with stuff. Not taking too well to it. So at least she's a little bit of a rebel in the system. Not totally a freaking. Um, Corp corporate flunky. I guess that's what happens when you bring in a uh, wild card into your organization. You gave yourself to us. You made the choice of your own free will. We were the only ones who cared. The ones who took you from your useless life. We gave you a reason to exist. And how do you thank us? By destroying our world. Yes, that is exactly what we're doing. This ends here. You gotta love it when a when a character like directly nods the fact that hey, shit's wrapping up right here, so get ready. Leslie, there's no use hiding this anymore. I'll enter the system and my return will be proof that all of this was worth it. I can, of course, convince them that it wasn't for me. It was for their goals. There are just the final tweaks left. Once I finish, I will put Leslie in the system. So, Nain approved the concept works. He put himself in it with, with Leslie. Um, yeah. And apparently it puts out a wireless signal that just kind of sucks people in. Which kind of makes you wonder if all the other infected dudes or whatever you're seeing in here, if they're all people out there also. What the hell? Why are you fading? 
I don't trust you. You're totally get, gonna get up. There's no way you're not, right? I already shot you and I already know that. Come on, buddy. I'm keeping an eye on that one. I'm not I'm not falling for that shit. 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 Damn it. That's one hit. Damn it. Go, 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 go. Kidman, go. Suck it. Answer our questions. Is it out of fear? Fear is such a subtle thing. But when one experiences true fear, is when they can be controlled. They can be molded. STEM is an abortion, a machine designed on the premise of fear. But in a sense, it is perfect for what we hope to achieve. You will be the first. You will bow under this fear, or you will die. You no. will serve as an example for what we will become. I, I disagree. It me. It's me. I'm connected. Just like everyone else. I'm getting out of here. Kind of weird that they, did, that they just put everyone in their normal clothes. There's, um, Joseph. No one. Leslie. Just fucking kill him right now. Let's see. Menez, he's looking pretty dead. Sebastian. Anyone else in here? Oh, they're the police officer. Okay, guess that's it. That didn't work. some rookie detective and this is not just some ordinary kid you killed Joseph and you shot me so right at this moment that's enough reason for me not to trust you you're a good man that's why I it doesn't matter anymore if you know who this kid is if you know anything you know why he can't be allowed to live bullshit it's Ruvik. He's the one that... So this was a fake out originally. Like Ruvik already has Leslie by this point. This is not where he like assimilates him. He already has him. Leslie! Oh, what the fuck? Is 
So while Sebastian's fighting the big final boss, I guess this is what we're doing. We gave you an order and you failed. No. None of this is real. You aren't real. You want to believe that, but I'm right here. I've been with you this whole time. This world is a nightmare. But I'm not afraid of you anymore. That just shows how little you understand. You should be very afraid. We have you, kid. Oh, what the fuck? And you know the consequences for failure. We won't let you just leave us. That is rude. I, I must say. You fulfilled what little use you have. This world is a prison for you to run in. Fuck you. I've had enough of this. I'll kill you right here. Boom. Oh, shit. Oh, do we have to scan these? What does this world oh, that gives like us more you? ammo. Sweet. Oh, damn it. Come on, reload, dude. Two for one. Let's see if I can line them up, actually. And more money for each chef. Be economical about it, I guess. Damn it. Shit. Too many. I just have to wait for the real one to pop up? Oh, I guess so. It's not even about shooting all the shadows, I guess. <laughs> okay, now there's actual... Oh. It's evil Kidmans. Well, that's rude. Oh! Okay, I need ammo. Shit. Damn it. Grab that real quick. There we go. That's kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Grab that. Shit. <laughs> oh, I hate it when people jerk around like that. Holy shit. That's fucking creepy as hell. Get that going while we can. Money shots. Uh... There we go. Let's go fuck this dude up. It's a shame you'll never see what we accomplished. Oh shit. Cover, I guess. Oh, shit. You think you can run, oh, but you're ours. Oh, shit, he's gonna block me. There we go. We 
gotta get this real quick. Oh, god damn it. Shit. Got more ammo. Damn it. Okay, almost got it. Serves him right. Hey, kitty cat. Brought me a gun, too. Oops. From the camera angle, I'm guessing we're about to blow this dude's brains out. It also has Kidman's butt in view, but not... Right in the center. It's not the focus. Kind of a weird belt. What have you? You don't know anything. I am with you. I will always be with you now. You don't know me. I'm stronger than you think. You finally see a bit of his face. Are you he sure did. enough in yourself? Sure enough to face the responsibilities of your actions? <gasps> yep. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he hella, he's hella dead. Freaking mouth open and shit. The police officer doesn't have his mouth open. He's... He is also dead. Not as dead. He did not get fucking crushed and demolished, I will say that. Agent Kidman, we've got him from here. How Myra. Long has it been? That is Myra. Since the first pulse. How did we get here? What are you talking about? Uh just give me a minute. I need to get Myra. my head straight. Myra, we need you back here. All so, right. yep, if you've been paying attention to uh, the notes in here as as you get back. and the other notes, you know that's Sebastian's wife. So, Myra. what's going on? Man, this is such sequel bait. Put that down, actually. This is like crazy frickin' setting up for the sequel. They knew exactly what they were doing with this. Oh, damn it. What the? When the f oh, that's why she wears a glove in two. But when did she get that mark? Like, I, I, get, I get the metaphor. I failed, but they didn't count on you. I owe you one. Yeah, so, so I get the metaphor of that, but like literally, when did she get that? Go like, when did that happen? Sebastian. I hope you find what you're looking for. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one is. Ooh, spooky. Alright, so I guess that's it for that DLC. The Consequence. Um, overall, pretty damn solid. Except for maybe that last, uh, not that last one, but that, that combat run-through was a little bit rougher than I would have preferred. We did that in two hours. Let's go to the title, because we have to do one more DLC. Which is, I don't want to say it's not canonical, but it has no importance in the series at large, if that makes sense. Main game title menu. Loading profile data. Downloadable content. Uh, the Executioner. 
Hey, Bandit, are you... Get off the donut. Dude, oh my god. Look, being a bad cat. <laughs> oh, cats are such fucking assholes. It's insane. You can probably see in the background of the camera a little bit. He was standing on top of a fucking... It's a, it's a thing from Krispy Kreme. It's like a dozen donuts. He's just... You know, just casually laying down, sitting on it with his freaking fat ass. Let's see, start new game. Do that. Actually, no, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, and we are back. Let's go ahead and get this going. So, yeah, apparently, this is like a first person melee. DLC? We're playing as a keeper? Continuation of STEM operational testing. Examining, I'm sorry, examine process of escaping system exploited by Wither's subject. Facilitate father's subject's rescue of daughter's subject. I guess we are being subjected to this. Your daughter is trapped within STEM and prisoned by her connection. I can I guess you can tell this didn't have as much of a budget cuz it's not even an animated <laughs> cutscene. A free year you must also connect to STEM and eliminate all other subjects from within. Your physical form within STEM will not be your own, but you should find that to your advantage. No voiceover or anything. This is uh Bit of a budget DLC, I guess. Sam's influence will eventually erase your daughter's memories and she'll become another creature of STEM. We will support you, but you must act before that is allowed to happen. That is Myra. Yeah, I guess now I understand why in uh, Evil Thin 2, Kidman has uh, that glove on her left hand. I don't, cause I don't think they ever show it. Oh, that is a different looking health bar. <laughs> and we got a big old hammer. We are the keeper. Oh. Nice. Oh. What is that? My freaking... Okay. Smash. Space pick up. Mobius Directive 1, established synchronization. Final test subject has been successfully inserted and attunement with the safe-headed creature has been verified. You should be able to use our carrier wave to scan for residual traces of strong emotions. New directive files will be transmitted for placement into the environment. Okay. How do I... I guess you still open doors with... <laughs> Just by default kicks it open. Head for the Victoriano uh, Manor House. You have to hold sprint? I guess this would make sense that this has different um, trolls. Um, that'd be in general then, right? Mission info, show, boss. Oh, bosses just straight up have life in here, I guess. Keyboard bindings, attack throw, memory scanner, crouch. Okay, yeah, I guess we... It's a uh, hold sprint, which I guess the rest of the... Fuck, I can't remember. Was the base game like... No, I, it had toggle sprint. I'm pretty damn sure. Let's see how bad we can smash some dudes up, I guess. Are they gonna come bursting out? Hey, it's our buddy the police officer. Damage an enemy until they are staggered, then grab them with C, then throw them by pressing C again. <laughs> Yeet! 
Oh, that's insane. Damage enemy when they're staggered, then press R to finish them off with an execution move. No, I guess he's still alive. Damn. That is one way to do it. And we got some kind of currency. I wonder what the use of uh, throwing enemies is versus just straight up executing. Maybe it's, um... I, I imagine you can, like, throw an enemy on another enemy. So, like, maybe, uh, topple a couple of them. Search for your daughter. Hello, ghostly image of daughter. What's this? Daughter's Diary 1. Dad, the doctor said that you're going to come to help me. Are you ever going to get here? There are monsters all over the place. I'm going crazy. Blech. Sorry, daughter. Can't hit you. Probably better for that. That is a safe. Weapons and skills can be purchased. Here. That is weird. I can buy barbed wire traps. Dynamite. A uh, bunch of mystery stuff, apparently. Uh, life gauge. Defense. Movement speed. Hammer. There's actually a decent amount of stuff to upgrade here. This is, this is more extensive than I thought. Are all these other people alive? Are they dead? Um, okay, so this is just for saving. Not necessarily going to the hospital, I guess. But yeah, you can't see who the dad is, but you can see the daughter. Okay. So yeah, um... Maybe it's not necessarily as budget as I thought, because, um... They definitely invested a bit more in the gameplay of this, from what I can see so far. Just not so much the intro to it. It's just kind of a still image that they're going through and uh, text on screen to explain everything. Oh, you can break shit for uh, money. I guess you can't grab health because you only grab it when you're hurt. Uh, that's the only door that's open, I guess. Some kind of necklace? Memory scanner. I saw some guy killing the monsters. I think I should go meet him and see what happens. He might know dad, but just in case he's some kind of creep, I'm gonna leave my letters and stuff here. Odd to do that for your third note, but okay. Mission, find a Mobius file. Trap parts? For once we unlock items, I guess. I guess I figured this would mostly be combat, but I guess that's not the case. Something new gonna open up? Oh! Mobius Directive 2. Eliminate test subject CB212 murderer. This experiment will explore a method of extraction from within the STEM environment. Your objective is to rescue your daughter, who is already inside STEM, by by eliminating all other connected test subjects. Subject CB212, a convicted murderer, has been completely dominated by STEM. His influence grows and he is disrupting your daughter's memory patterns. Kill CB212 and assess the girl's condition. Supplementary information. STEM erodes a subject's memories incrementally, gradually altering their personality and their physical appearance until finally the subject is completely dominated by STEM. Based upon the data from the Ruvik incident, it can be inferred that the Ruvik entity was able to leave the STEM system by entering the physical body of the test subject Leslie Withers. Okay, so at least they're aware of that. That's not just like a hanging thread. Um, this first trial will explore STEM's mental degradation effects on more standard methods of egress. Transmissions from the outside as well as tracking within STEM are subject to error and time delays. Use your own judgment in handling any encounters. Connection status, seven subjects, adolescent female, detective, twin sibling, paroled murderer, psychiatric patient, ex-soldier, and father of adolescent female. Okay. 
You gonna bust open the goo? I guess it didn't bust, just kind of went away. Eat. Oh, I can just grab chairs. Ugh. That guy said he was a killer and his job was to kill monsters. He said that he was collecting those weird tokens and made me help look for them. When I tried to put one in my pocket, he started screaming and got this scary look in his eyes. He might kill me if I try to run away. He might kill me if I don't. Smash. I'm just going to carry a chair with me because why the fuck not? Can I not? Okay, I guess I can't open shit if I'm carrying stuff. That is a wire. I am not gonna fall for... Can we even... Okay, so we can't even toggle crouch. We have to hold that, too. Let's just yeet this into it. Yeet! Kinda weird that they decided to go first person with this, I guess. Which is weird, considering they're using id Tech 5, which is meant for first-person games. Uh, like 60 FPS first-person games. Uh, the only issue with that being they wanted to make a third-person game, the engine wasn't necessarily built for that. And hence the poor uh, uh, compatibility, that's why this game's performance is kind of shit on console, why it's, why it's still kind of shit on um, PC. And now it's actually using a first person mode, so. You don't know what's going on in that. Transcript CB212 murderer. Nobody said it was going to be like this. These motherfuckers barely put up a fight. That old broad who put me in here might have shown me a better time. Who the fuck put a kid in here? Thought this place was full of zombie crackheads. Your dad's who? Who the fuck is that? Why should I care? Knew I couldn't trust that little shit? Trying to pocket my loot. What the fuck? I can hear someone whispering at me. You trying to get in? There's just a lot of back and forth, to be honest. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. Eliminate the sadist is apparently. Um... Oh, am I traveling to like specific dudes and just killing them? What is that, an eyeball? That is an eyeball. Okay. Yeet. Damn. This is pretty gratifying. Damn, that's fucking cool. Get more coins. Can I just smash the eye? Ah. There is a sadist. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? Can I block? That'd be nice if I could. Can I just grab this dude? And just toss him? <laughs> that totally works. Those are some big coins, buddy. Ow. <laughs> it just catches on fire out of nowhere. What the fuck? That's so stupid. The chainsaw is now available for purchase in the shop. I kind of like the hammer, though. Find a Mobius file. You mean the one that literally just popped up in front of me? Okay. Hey, your face is going all melty. That's not good. Let's see if I can even uh, find anything. I think I need like 50 for basically everything. Let's see. Hammer. Movement speed. That will be helpful for running away from enemies, at least. 
Because that, that's what I was kind of worried about in that fight. All right. Might as well save, I suppose. Because we're already here. But during the execution, execution chamber will allow you to collect memory tokens. I assume grabbing that's gonna open that. That's fine and dandy. Uh, let's do some challenges. I don't see why not. We can upgrade our stuff at least. It's hella just reusing the same assets too, so. Yeet! Come on, come over here. I wanna fuck you up, eyeball. Oh, that does nothing, apparently. Can I just beat the shit out of the eyeball? <laughs> this is so good. I love it. Is the eyeball gonna... Okay, you can't damage the eyeball, I guess. Damn. This is fucking... Brutal. We can actually dodge by hitting sprint in different directions. So that's useful. Let's eat you. <laughs> oh, okay. I hurt myself a bit, but. Are you gonna explode? Oh no. Damn it. Okay, I guess I gotta get rid of those dudes before they get all freaking feral on me. They did. Uh, is that it? Did I do the thing? Yes, I did the thing. We are successful at doing the thing. Alright, we got extra coins. Oh, wait. Did I just go back into this? Did I fuck up? I think I might have fucked up. But I guess we can just get more stuff for it, so. I don't think I'll ever get tired of those executions, though. I'm not gonna lie. Just kind of wish that they were maybe just spawning in faster. Whoops. I was trying to th throw him at this guy, but oh well. Damn, this guy's taking a hell of a beating. Yeah, I'm liking this DLC a lot. It's definitely unique. There's nothing else like this in the entire series. Feels even weird to maybe call it a series when it's just two games, but oh well. down 
Oh, shit, there's two of them. A lot of frickin' strawberry jelly all over the place, I guess. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just the Resident Evil in me, but when I see a giant glowing eyeball like that, my instinct is to smash it. And that's just not a thing here. There we go, let's grab this. Oh, that is not gonna grab. I meant to grab. Instead, I just kind of smashed. There we go. But yeah, at least I'm earning coins so I can get some upgrades. If I get three more, I can actually upgrade the hammer, which I think I'm basically going to go do. That was easy. Okay, so pay attention, don't continue. Um, okay, yeah, I accidentally did it twice. That's what happened. But now we can uh, upgrade our hammer. Now we can get the executions getting just set up like back to back to back to back. That'd be pretty cool, so. Increases the amount of damage caused by the hammer with each hit, yes. Please. It's still a weird way to upgrade. Alright, new slots. Always use rolling saves. Always. Let's see. Eliminate test subject CB207 twin. The rate of your daughter's memory loss has been greatly reduced with the death of CB212. It can be surmised that his influence on others has been negated. Data indicates that your daughter is on the move, possibly with subject CB207. Eliminate him. Data will be recorded in progress and stability of STEM domination analyzed. Dominated subjects are used by STEM to emit at wavelengths which deteriorate the memory and willpower of others in the area. This ancillary function serves to accelerate STEM's domination function. Testing and analysis needed to determine effect of removing a relay point upon the stable extraction of a subject in a target memory. That is a fucking long ass fucking noun salad. <laughs> Use some commas, my dude. It's okay. You can have a long ass sentence, but just use some commas. There we go. Oh, I actually got it. The FOV on this is a little small, I guess. I'm just doing so much damage anyway, it's kind of insane. I'm not even going to complain because this is just pure, pure fucking unadulterated catharsis. Man, I wish I could do this in the base game. Use executions on 20 basic hunted. Anything in here? Coins. Hell yeah. Oh, there's a thing in here. Yes. Take that open. It'd be nice to have a flashlight, though. It's kind of dark in here. <laughs> you can teleport to any nearby safe to bypass obstacles. That is... Oh! <laughs> Just snapped our own neck. That's... That's beautiful. That's one way to teleport, I suppose. That door wasn't there before. Yeah. 
If I can mess with physics in a game, I fucking will. Transcript. Uh, it's just more people talking. Um, people just being a little insane, I guess. Let's go fuck this dude up, I guess. Zen. Oh, this is uh, one of the twins. Oh, I should have I should have inferred that when I saw it. Hey, buddy. He's gonna shoot you. Damn. Oh, to reload. Come on, reload. Oh shit, there's other enemies right here. This DLC is continuing to impress me with how much it's changing it up with... Because that's just not a regular melee enemy I'm fighting. Okay, so I gotta bait him. Oh, there's a thing over here too, sweet. Hell yeah. Shit, get out of here. Shit. Yo, damn it. That fucking hurt. Get out of the way. I am. Do, I do not like getting stun locks. Got my head cut off, apparently. Uh, I do not like getting stun locked in games. It is. Oh, it is so fucking frustrating. <laughs> Alright. Round two. At least our health bars aren't like fucking astronomical, so we don't have to do this like too long, but. Come on. Okay, let's just keep moving. So there's a couple of these kind of strewn throughout. Damn it. Fucking yeet. Oh, I didn't even grab him in the first place. Damn it. Fuck. Okay, don't stun lock me, don't fucking lock me in this corner. Damn, why? I can barely even move the frickin' turret around. It's crazy. Shit. Here. Get this guy. Okay, this would be a lot more manageable if I wasn't dealing with fucking ads. Like, the, the main boss isn't the issue. I can reload this stuff whenever. Come on. Get out of the way. And they're just gonna keep respawning, too. That's a bit annoying. We really need that hammer damage up. Are you just constantly going to spawn enemies? Uh, 
is annoying. I'm barely doing fucking damage to this guy. I was really hoping that would do more, but... Oh, yeah, this guy's gonna do way more melee damage to me than I am to him, so... I didn't even know I stunned that guy. Shit. Let's get these reloaded, I guess. Oh, God damn it. I mean, I get like the central premise of this is let's do like these five boss battles or whatever, but damn, this fucking boss battle is annoying. Like, I like the idea at first, like, oh, it's not just like a normal dude you're fighting. You have to use the environment. You have to use situational tools, which I'm totally down for. That's good design, but I'm not even fighting the boss 90% of the time. I'm literally just fucking up this these ads and the ads aren't hard it's just they they take away time that you should be spending attacking the actual enemy it's like shit dude and yeah this thing's not even reloaded because I'm too busy making sure I don't yeah because they're gonna fucking stun lock me This is just a bad boss, to be honest. Everything else in this DLC seems fine, so... Um, if this frustration <laughs> continues, I'm probably not going to bother considering the rest of the DLC, because... It's really inconsequential to the greater Evil Thin series at large. And I'd rather not spend my limited time playing stuff that is going to annoy me. At least the ads apparently have stopped coming, so there's that, I guess. Here, we gotta dip. Are you gonna? Have you stopped spawning enemies? We we good? Jesus. Like some would have been fine. Like maybe one at a time. But it's just constantly doing the same shit. This dude gonna come or what? Shit. There we go. You now purchase the highest maximum ammo rank in the shop. Um, I don't really have other tools. Do I? Do I have to just like straight up buy them? Or are you gonna like give me like the introductory ones? Whatever. Yeah. In case it wasn't obvious, my opinion of this has gone down. <laughs> Uh, substantially just from that boss battle. Yeah, we can't even buy this because um, we haven't gotten it yet, I guess. 
increase the hammer damage, cause just because I want to be able to kill dudes left and right. Increase our health. Basically, just going to focus on those two primarily. Okay, um, get this note. Mobius to Ah, Mobius Directive 4. Eliminate test subject CB204, Detective. Your daughter's memory degradation is slowed, but STEM domination of the remaining subjects has progressed steadily. The only subject confirmed to still be in the house is CB204, the detective. Access the corresponding area and kill the detective. Uh, at this time, we are unable to say definitively that the death of a test subject and the subsequent removal of their influence leads directly to memory preservation. The possibility exists that an unknown element is affecting the integrity of subject memories. We must observe the girl's movement patterns and be watchful for unanticipated phenomena. Okay. So we have two more rooms up there, I think. Because there's one on the left and there's one on the right. There we go. I'm not really feeling the hammer having that much more of a difference, to be honest. It's probably because, like, enemy health is, like, adjusting as well. But even if I am doing more damage, I just have more health. So, uh, proportionally, or I guess percentage-wise, it's basically doing the same shit, which I'm not a fan of that shit in games. I think it's quite... Lazy. Ooh, money. Can we climb ladders? Because there's supposed to be a ladder, right? It was supposed to be over there, I think. Hey, rat. <laughs> the rat had a big old coin in it. Come on, dude. Damn. Fuck that dude up. That one's busting that door down. Nothing over here. Even though... What's up with that freaking light behind me? Yeah, there's a weird PC port for not having fucking toggle sneak and toggle um, sprint. Something in here. Daughter's Diary 7. I'm alright. The guy with the glasses didn't look like anyone I should be talking to. I can still hear his laughter in my head. I don't think he knew who he was anymore. I think the trick to keeping my mind together is to think all about the stuff I'm going to do when I get out of here. That is naked bodies in there, my dude. Hello, daughter. Unit. Going through that door, not this door. Eat. Is this another safe? I guess so. Um, might as well increase our health, I guess. Yeah, let's increase our defense. Hell yeah. Because that's being proven to be a pain in the ass. Archive record subject CB204, Detective. Phase 5. At Phase 4, Detective subject exhibited repeated loss of self-awareness as well as involuntary suicidal tendencies. We count at least four attempts. Subjects also showed repeated inter intermittent physical deformation. Subject's initial recovery has reversed course and at present he has lost self-awareness. Inflow of consciousness from other subjects is a component of STEM domination. Subjects' memories appear to be disorganized and linguistic ability minimal. Eliminate Joseph Oat. 
This is Joseph, our dude. We're gonna kill our dude? That note was about him? Can we go back and read our freaking notes? I don't think so. Yeah, this dude was trying to commit suicide. Does this mean he's still in here after um after the main game? Because this takes place after the main game. There you are. So I don't know if this is canon or not. I don't think so, right? Don't try to shoot me. It's not gonna work, buddy. Boom. This for being a little bitch in the main campaign. Damn it. I am totally gonna kick his ass though, so that's okay. I'm doing damage way faster than I am on fire. That's not good. Oh! What the fuck? Execute him. Hey, can you go for some health? Damn, Joseph is actually fucking me up right now. I got a little cocky, I guess. Let's see if I can get some health from these guys. Yep. Proving to be the right choice. Whoa, did he? Oh, killed the dude I was killing. There we go. Oh, he's gonna blow his brain. Oh. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> he just gets set on fire. Molotov cocktails are now available for purchase in the shop. The door is open. There's gotta be something else upstairs, though. There's that whole other wing we didn't really go into. Let's see what we can get. Hammer, boots, defense. Razor defense. I don't imagine this DLC is going to be incredibly long. Yeah, there's supposed to be another uh, wing over here. Man, we run freaking slow. Even Sebastian can run faster than this, but granted, he doesn't have stamina for shit, so... I will give, uh, I will concede victory to, uh, the keeper here. There's Reuben's parents. How did I get here anyway? I try to think, but I can't remember. I think it was therapy, but Dad and I fought about it? He said that Reuben guy might be able to help me, but he didn't trust him. But I had to try. That's a bad idea. That's a, a horrible idea. Come back here, rat. I gotta smash you. Come here, rat. You got a lot of coins. I can't smash you in here, though. So you gotta, you gotta scoot. Bye, rat. Yummy coins. Oops, go down. Quite slow. Sorry, Ruben's parents, you uh got murdered. Sorry that happened. More enemies over here. He did. Oh, there's a... Can I just go under? Am I short enough? 
Oh, I guess I can be. Let's eat. I know. Damn, you have to be hella close to grab him. What else is around here? Eat. Oh, just... Okay, so that... I don't think these rooms are even in the, um... Base game, so that's kind of cool, actually. So let's just keep on going, I guess. Okay, that was odd. Oh, there's a letter, though. If we get 24 of them, we can make an alphabet. Or is it 26? I don't know. Uh, what was my doctor doing here? I saw him walking down the hall. I'm guessing that's Jimenez? Oh. At least we can teleport. We have two separate button prompts to teleport. Okay, so when we rip our head off, it's all good. If someone else rips our head off, it's all bad, apparently. Full on health. And uh, we can just jump down. Clear the first and second floors of the manor house and executioner. Cool. Mobius Directive 5, Eliminate Test Subject, Soldier. As before, with the death of CB204, the rate of your daughter's memory loss is slowed. However, all their subjects show more advanced decay than previously recorded. More investigation is necessary. Coinciding with this event, a pathway at the heart of the mansion is opened. We have also located Subject CB205, an ex-soldier. CB205 must be eliminated. Eradication of remaining test subjects will leave the girl the only one to retain any memories. However, there's a strong probability that these memories will not be intact. The pro that is a long one. We'll skip it. Yeah, I guess the same format. You read a note, you go fight the next boss. Basically. I don't really need to do that. that I guess that's there if you want to like grind out shit. I'm not necessarily here to do that. Hey, rat. Nope. Which of these is... Shit. Okay. Eat. Oh, of course she leaves a note like right in the fucking middle of that. Oh shit. Hey doctor, do you remember my dad? Huh. 
Increase the maximum level of the health of the life gauge. Yes. Oh, that's barely even more. What the fuck? That's a ripoff. Soldier. Da, da, da. Let's just see what it is. Eliminate the RPG sadist. It's literally another sadist, but specifically the soldier one. And it's the same area as Joseph, too. Like, I get, like, the whole point of this is to reuse locations from uh, the base game. But this is literally reusing a what's supposed to be, like, a retooled boss enemy in the same arena as that we fought Joseph. Come on, dude. Oh, what the fuck? Did he blow himself up a bit? That's barely even... If you know, for a rocket launcher? Not really doing that much damage, all things considered. Please don't tell me it's just gonna be running. Come on, dude. Here, let me. No, god damn it, I meant to grab. Is this really the extent of the boss's strategy? Is it run to the same two fucking predetermined locations and just spam rockets? He's gonna go right up there. And I can't even fucking. My opinion of this is rapidly fucking falling. Oh, at least he finally. Yeah, it's now it's literally just that other sadist boss battle we did. Because now he's just using the chainsaw. Rocket launcher is now available for purchase. What the fuck? Okay. Apparently not that powerful, to be honest. Alright, so we need to go where? Oh, no, we went through this way. Oh, there's something here. Dude, go through the door. Why can't I? I don't know what to do. I keep forgetting mom and dad's names. It's happened like five times now. I can't believe I forgot something like that. I should tattoo on my arm or something. All right, so we already went through there. I'm gonna do some other doors. Oh, just grab that. Psychiatric patient. I'm guessing this is uh, Leslie. The shaking won't stop. I can't remember Dad's face. I'm slowly forgetting who I am. There are all these monsters around. It's like I don't even care if they get me anymore. But I at least want to see Dad one more time. That is sweet. I think that's mostly just there for shock factor because there's not really any gameplay incentive to be doing that. Which is a little lame. Oh, invisible enemies? Okay. With the memory scanner. There you are.
Quit running away, dude. I can... Is this really what we're doing? I guess it's, he's not even like running away to like do fucking tactics. It's literally just running away to be a fucking nuisance. Sorry if I sound so fucking bitchy about this, it's just... I had a really good time with the last two DLCs, and this one's obviously a lower budget one, so it's whatever. Shouldn't get my hopes and expectations up, but... Man, this game is a lot of highs, and damn, are there a lot of lows. The Amalgan Alpha. That's the uh, big old creepy looking thingy, right? Gonna pop out or there you are. Come on. Car swinging can be knocked back with melee weapons by pressing F. <laughs> there we go. Hell yeah. Just wailing on him. Don't eat me. See if I can launch another car at him. I kind of need him to do this, the uh, setup, though. Let's see if I can just, like, stay behind him to mitigate damage. Oh, shit. Damn it, fuck. Okay, I need to pick up health. Some over here. There we go. Should be okay. Come on, launch a car at me. And there's just spawning regular enemies then? Man, I, at least with a freaking twin boss battle, they were adding some newer context, and this is just let's toss an existing boss in. And I mean, I, I guess you could say the launch of the car is the new mechanic, but it's not really much, to be honest. Nope, he died somehow. <laughs> Okay. Where, where can I save my game so I can fucking dip out of this? I just have to keep going? Is that what's going on right now? I guess so. This doesn't want me to quit, I guess. Next phase. Da, 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 da. The next last remaining test subject is you. Have you been in direct contact with your daughter? I guess that's all the bosses. We're in the basement of the manor house and the executioner. I, oh yeah, I guess you guys aren't seeing my achievement pop-ups. Can I open any of these? Oh, it's showing like who they are. That's cool, I guess. They're just kind of re like reusing bodies though, to be honest, so it's whatever. Alright, let's save. I don't really have any continued interest to actually beat this thing. 
Um, it's okay. I playing it for free. I wouldn't recommend buying this DLC. Uh, it doesn't add anything story wise. Like, like, like the core gameplay loop is fine for a little bit. I love the the executions you can do, but um, probably not the best way to let me leave um, the Evil Within One experience. Overall, Evil Within One is a mixed bag. It has it's it's, it's a good game. Uh, with some really good highs, some really good um, game design, some really good fake outs. It's a lot of good horror. Uh, where it falters in that is some really poor game design issues as well. It's it's of incredible highs and incredible lows. Um, but at least it kind of offsets it, those lows with those highs. With The issue with this DLC is that there's not really any highs except for maybe like the execution animations. And then the majority of the GLC, which has like the emphasis on the boss fights, those are like the lows. Those are like extreme lows. Um, the the other two DLCs with Kidman, those were fine. I really enjoyed them. But it was more um, scarier. It's more horror oriented because for the ninety five percent of the time, you didn't have a weapon. You're just sneaking around. You're stealthing, and that made it stick out significantly from the uh from the base game because it is unique in that regard that that's your primary focus um and then it's ironic that the worst part of that second dlc was when you do have the gun and you're kind of rushing through and you make it to the exit uh that was the weakest part like it was supposed to be cathartic but it just didn't work the way i think they intended for it to be um the, the ending little boss battle against like the other kidmans was cool but um yeah i would recommend you should play evil within one if uh you're interested in horror if you like horror action games just kind of maybe go into it knowing that there's going to be some caveats along the road um yeah i think that's going to be about it um i need to make my stream schedule for next week i'm thinking we're going to go ahead and do uh because the podcast is always on sundays at 6 30 p.m bst uh, for streaming, I might go ahead and do Wednesday and Friday. I don't, I'm not sure if I want to do game streams uh, twice a week or three times a week. Because, um, you know, with a podcast, it's going to be a plus one to that. So we'll we'll go ahead and see from there. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.